What's happening guys? Mitch Kerr here from Wild Horses and today, today is actually a special video because today we will be highlighting all of the classic Ford Broncos that will be at SEMA 2019. guys, so as you know, the Bronco has seen a, a tremendous rise in mainstream popularity over the years. I'm only 20, but even I have witnessed just the utter growth of what the Bronco has become to the car culture and the car industry. And uh, at SEMA, the biggest car show expo on the planet, it's seen that same increase in popularity. You see them everywhere and uh, as you see in the uh, the title of this video we are going to show you the top 10 Broncos that will be at SEMA this year but there are going to be way more and I honestly don't know if I found 10 that's just it's a good title for the video but anyways we are gonna dive right in to all of the Bronco builds that you can expect to see next week at SEMA 2019 to start it off, and in no particular order does this list go, but we'll start off with the brand new muscle car build. That was a build that we were heavily involved in. You've seen it on this channel before. It's an absolutely pristine build. As stated before, it's running Wild Horses armor plate bumpers, Gorilla War flares, Baja custom cage, custom headbangers, and just a ton of other parts and pieces that make this rig look incredible. The engine is the mighty Coyote 5.0. Now this build, after reaching out to the guys at Brand New Muscle Car, they told me it took seven months to build. And uh, there is a TV show on it, you can go ahead and check that out on Motor Trend to see all of the progress with that. The build will be chilling in the R3 booth, so if you make it out to SEMA, make sure you check it out. Next up, we have the Motor Trend Week 2 Wheeling Bronco that you guys have also seen on this channel. Uh, it's just another build that we had a ton of parts put on. Along with the suspension kit, we supplied a ton of other Wild Horses parts to get this thing built uh, in five days. And so that build is on YouTube, on the Motor Trend channel, if you want to follow the progress of that. Uh, the link will be below to check that out. But anyways, talking engines, the Motor Trend Bronco is running the Ford Performance Boss 302 and the thing absolutely rips as you guys saw on YouTube. The rig as stated, and I think this is the shortest uh, time for a Bronco being built, took five days. So that definitely wins a record there. Uh, and it will be sitting, if I'm not mistaken, in the Golden Star booth at SEMA. I could be wrong. Check that build out at SEMA. Now yet another Bronco that Wild Horses supplied parts for. The SEMA Garage is redoing the WD-40 Bronco, which some of you guys saw a few years ago. This build is set to look absolutely amazing. They're getting rid of the purple and yellow colors, going with a more blue tone. So uh, I can't wait to see it in person. It's going to be running a late model 3.5 liter twin turbo EcoBoost and has been getting worked on since around May this year. It will of course be in the WD-40 booth and uh, after SEMA it will actually be headed to the auction block to get auctioned off for SEMA Cares in support of children, child help. Great cause there. Good job to the guys at WD-40 and SEMA Garage. Again, looking forward to seeing the build. Check it out at SEMA. Continuing on through the montage of early Ford Broncos built for SEMA. Uh, let's take a look at the Gateway Bronco. Not build, but builds, plural. Gateway will have two Broncos at SEMA, and you already know the first one. You've seen it on the channel. It's the Ryan Blaney Family Foundation Bronco, and that can be found in the Eaton booth in Central Hall. This puppy is the second in the lineup to boast the Coyote V8, but what's cool about this one is it's running the Harrop 
supercharger, and the thing is absolutely bad to the bone. This Bronco is built with body parts supplied by us here at Wild Horses. Gateway uses our body parts for all of the Bronco bodies that they put together, so that is super sweet. As you guys know, after SEMA, the rig will continue to tour the country. Well, it, where, where it will end up in Scottsdale, Arizona at Barrett Jackson to help raise money for the Alzheimer's Association. So we were super pumped to be a part of this build. Uh, again, the Eaton booth in Central Hall. The next gateway build that will be at SEMA this year uh, has actually been kept under wraps pretty closely, but I talked to Seth Forget, the owner of Gateway, and he gave me permission to share just a few little tidbits of that second build. So not only is this build going to be running the Coyote V8, but it is going to have a Roush supercharger on it, and so that is totally freaking sweet. And why will it be getting a Roush supercharger? Uh, first off, because that's just freaking awesome. And second, uh, we would just have to be at SEMA to find out because that is undisclosed information. But in case it wasn't clear enough, that Bronco will be found in the Roush booth. Make sure you check it out at SEMA. Also, sorry because obviously, obviously I wasn't able to get uh, any spy pictures of that, so. Anyways, next on the list, our good buddy, Sean Jennings, some of you guys know him better as Defcon Bricks, will be taking his rig out to SEMA this year. This rig will be another recipient of the Coyote 5.0 Love, and it has a plethora of wild horses parts on it. Uh, I can't even begin to name them all. Sean has been hitting me up for the past four weeks getting stuff for this thing, dialing it in. Uh, he's basically done a frame off at this point. So uh, I can't wait to see it. Uh, the guys over at Toyo Tread Pass, where the Bronco will be, uh, basically told Sean not to reveal too much of the Bronco. They like being a little bit sneaky over there, which is fine. It's exciting, but uh, if you've seen the DEF CON Bronco before, you know how sick it was before SEMA. Uh, so what Sean is gonna do with the build for SEMA uh, is exciting and I cannot wait to see it. So we will keep you guys posted on that. Make sure you guys follow him and his Instagram and his Bronco journey. Uh, the links are below for that. Now, what's cool about Sean is uh, he's actually going to be driving the Bronco. You're gonna see a lot of love off-road. Uh, there is hopefully something in the future that we're gonna work out where we go on a wheeling trip. Are you in, Sean? Let's hit the great outdoors. We're gonna make it happen. We're, we're gonna do a camping trip. Um, don't know when, don't hold your breath, or hold your breath, but only if you can hold it for a long time. I'm still working on mine, so you got time. A decent amount of time. Anyways, make sure you stop by the Toyo Tread Pass, and if you see Sean, tell him Wild Horses sent ya. Moving on to a garage that you have seen at SEMA before. Uh, RMD Garage, known for Urban Madness, which some of you have seen before, is bringing wild things to the SEMA floors this year. The entirety of this Bronco is absolutely top notch, but it has one heck of an interior. A segment of guys at RMD Garage specialize in interior, and you could tell that they put heart and soul into making this Bronco interior absolutely incredible. Aside from the interior and all the other super cool stuff on this Bronco, the guts of the Bronco are, yes, you guessed it, the Coyote 5.0. All, all of these Coyotes are making me want to put a Coyote uh, in this thing. But then again, I just got this thing driving again. So screw that idea. I'm gonna drive this thing into the ground. Woo! Anyways, this was a six month build for RMD Garage and the results are absolutely amazing. Uh, you can check out this build in the McGuire Space booth at SEMA and I do suggest that you do so. So make sure you follow RMD Garage on Instagram and all of their social, social bleh. make sure you follow them on their social medias. All of that will be linked below. And continuing on with the madness, we have our good buddies over at Crawler's Edge. 
that will not be taking one, not be taking two, but taking three builds to SEMA this year. The first build is expected to be an absolute beast with a Gen 2 Coyote Crate engine with a ton of custom Crawler's Edge components on it. Crawler's Edge has been hammering away at this build for over a year, so you can only expect absolute gnar with this thing. It's gonna be epic. You can find this build in the Ford Out Front restoration uh, in the Silver lot, check it out. Their next build, while not actually a complete build, will be sitting right next to that Bronco uh, in the same booth. Crawler's Edge will have their chassis and body display with a Dennis Carpenter body hovering over it. Now those displays are always super cool to look at. Check out the chassis, see what they're doing over there at Crawler's Edge. Those are some great guys. Uh, that's build number Build number two. The last Crawler's Edge Bronco build. That one's actually super top secret, so keep your eyes peeled. You never know where that Bronco is gonna show up, but when you do, let us know. Tag us in stuff. Tag us in your stories, in your Instagrams, in your Snapchats and stuff. We don't have Snapchat, but hit us up. That's, that's the sound it makes. Now, I turn your attention to a concept that hit the SEMA floors two-ish years ago. While not the first four-door Bronco ever made, some of you guys remember that build, uh, and after taking a coveted top 10 place in the battle of the builders, Max Sliders is bringing back the four-door concept, but this time, it will have suicide doors. The Max Slider four-door Bronco will be showcased in the US Shift booth in Central Hall. Now, if you wanna check it out, uh, I suggest getting in line because people will be swamping over this thing the entire show, I guarantee it. The Bronco two years ago got a ton of love. This one is prepped to get a ton of love and uh, there's going to be no lack of drool among onlookers, we can tell you that. Now for guts, this Bronco will be the lucky recipient of a Roush supercharged Gen 2 Coyote 5.0. Uh, the Coyote stuff is just getting crazy. Again, maybe, you know? Anybody got one laying around? Back to the Clydesdale. Uh, a ton of love and work went into this thing, like I said, from the guys at Max Lighter. They did a phenomenal job. If you find yourself at SEMA, make sure you check it out because of all of the work. Any of you guys that have worked on your stuff know how much time it takes. I mean, check this out. I've been working on this thing for like three years now. I know how much work uh, goes into these things. And uh, the recent crazy project was this center console, which took an entire week to do. And, and it's still not done. Uh, and it still looks like crap. You know, you gotta appreciate when something gets worked on for the amount of time that Max Slider has been working on this thing and it comes out looking nice. So, uh, excited to see the build. Check it out, US Shift Booth, Central Hall. Anyways, those are the official Bronco builds that are going to be at SEMA this year. Of course, some have flown under the radar that I don't even know about, so you can only expect uh, an absolute montage of these crazy things. So we look forward to SEMA 2019 and all of the Bronco love that is gonna be there. But anyways, make sure you guys follow all of the guys mentioned above on all of their social medias. Go show them some love. They were a great help in making this video. So make sure you check them out. Check out all of the stuff they do. It's just a lot of good shops, good people that are doing good things with the Bronco. They're doing exciting things with the Bronco. New and innovating things with the Bronco. This 50 year old truck that has just become an icon. So uh, again, show them some love. The links are below for all of that stuff. All right, and now the last bit of Bronco news to mention is if you guys haven't started following the Bronco Club of America, then you haven't heard that there will be 10 of the top racing Broncos at SEMA this year in the Ford Out Front booth or 
area. And they are dubbing it the Bronco Corral. So this is going to be absolutely epic. Make sure you stay tuned for that. Uh, it's just super cool to see Ford taking an interest in all of the Ford Broncos. Now obviously, they're stirring up the pot for the 2020 Bronco, but uh, you know, who knows? Who knows what they're gonna do at the biggest car show on the planet. Maybe not a reveal, maybe a leak, maybe something. Uh, we're keeping our eyes peeled, keeping our ears waxed, keeping our fingernails clean because uh, that has nothing to do with what we're talking about. But uh, we're just excited to see what Ford is going to do. So uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's it with the Bronco Club America and the Bronco Corral. We'll keep you guys tuned on that. Now, for those of you who won't be able to make it to SEMA this year, I will do my best to capture as much content of the Bronco stuff as I can while I'm there, and just the cool stuff in general. But I am gonna be super busy. Don't blame me if the video isn't posted for like two to three weeks. You guys know how it goes out here in the WH, but uh, I will be working hard at it, getting as much as I can for you guys to share with you guys the experience that is SEMA 2019. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We post everything Bronco, so it's gonna be epic. SEMA's going to be epic. You can feel it in the atmosphere. So, uh, yeah, I'm pumped. Juiced. Excited. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you see us at SEMA this year, come say what's up. Uh, it's always a great time talking to people. That's a grueling time of walking, you know, but what can you do? There's so much cool car stuff to see. It makes it worth it. So, uh, can't wait for all of that. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys right now. I'm signing off. We're doing a giveaway soon. But as always, with all of that being said,